Frank Sinatra said one time, the best revenge is massive success. Hey, get you a long enough list of reasons so that after tonight you never lack for inspiration. You might not have all the answers right away, but you can get the answers if you can get the reasons. Now, let me give you a little simple formula for goal setting. Okay? We take two, two and a half hours on the weekend for the whole 10 year plan. We don't have time for that tonight. But let me get you started with a little simple formula Mr. Schultz gave me. And maybe this will be helpful. First of all, I've divided goals into two parts. First is long range. Long range goals. That's your dream. Your dreams for the next 3, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40 years, actually the rest of your life. Your dreams. You've got to keep dreaming. Ronald Reagan, president, said to the joint session of Congress a few weeks ago, the republic is a dream. And if we don't keep dreaming, we will lose the republic. Your better future is a dream for yourself and for your family. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? What do you want to be? What do you want to see? You've got to dream dreams. There's a Bible phrase that says, without dreams and visions, people perish. You've got to have something to go for that inspires the heart and the soul. Dreams. From the children of Sanchez, it says, take the crumbs from starving soldiers. They won't die. Take the bread from hungry children, they won't cry. But without dreams, we all will die. You've got to dream. Don't lose your dreams for yourself, for your future, for your family. The dreams of love and enterprise and travel and doing things, becoming something unique on your journey here. Don't lose your dreams. Do some dreaming. That's a long range goal. Got so we're going to stop right there because that's a long range goal. But I encourage you guys to please go ahead and look him up. His name is Jim Ron. He is, and this, it says Jim Ron learned to master these skills or you will live a life of mediocrity. Um, <clears throat> somehow I, I believe that, but you don't have to. But I think personal development is important in anybody's life. I am, however, going to end this little shindig with a motivational mix that I just happen to adore. So here we go. There will never be a point in your time in your life where it's the right time to do a great thing. If you wait for that perfect, perfect moment, that perfect timing, it's not going to happen. You know what you have to do? You have to create the perfect time and the perfect opportunity and the perfect situation. So a lot of people become comfortable. They stop growing. They stop wanting anything. They, they become satisfied. People getting ready to go to jobs that they don't like. Jobs that are making them sick. You see, when you're not pursuing your goal, you are literally committing spiritual suicide when you have some goal out here that you're stretching for and reaching for that takes you out of your comfort zone you'll find out some talents and abilities you have that you didn't know you had when the messenger of misery visits you what are you going to do what will keep you in the game there are things that you think you'll never need to know that you may only need to know one time in your life, but that could save your life because you had that knowledge. Unless you attempt to do something beyond that, which you've already mastered, you will never grow. What is it that you looked at at some point in time and you decided that you couldn't do it? That you talk yourself out of it? You waiting on your next door neighbor to make it happen for you, it may not happen. If you waiting on your mother or your father, they may be so ancient in their thinking that they don't understand this opportunity that you have. And if you waiting on them, they may never get done. You don't beg average people to be phenomenal. You don't beg good people to be phenomenal. You just are phenomenal and you will attract phenomenal. What reason can you remember that you can call on, that you can reach on, that can make you get back up? Find that reason. 
If you're not where you are, if you're not where you want to be, if you don't have what you want, want to have, if you're not where you think you should be in this particular place, it has nothing to do with the system, but it has everything to do with the fact that you're not making the sacrifice. I want you to make that dream become a reality because if you don't, you will be working for somebody else to make their dreams become a reality. Everybody is against you or don't believe in your number one. And let me tell you something, that's a lonely feeling. It's a lonely feeling, particularly people that you're doing it for. Most people take their greatness, take their ideas to the graveyard with them. Listen to me, if it was easy, everybody would do it. There are people right now who are working who don't want to work. There are people who hate their job, but they keep getting up and doing it. The wealthiest place on the planet is the graveyard. Because in the graveyard we will find inventions that we never ever were exposed to. Ideas, dreams that never became reality. Hopes and aspirations that were never acted upon. The question is what are you going to do with this time? What drives you? Greatness is a lot of small things done well. Day after day. Workout after workout, obedience after obedience, day after day. When things don't work out for you, when things happen that you could not anticipate, what are the reasons that you can think of that can keep you strong? You will never ever be successful until you turn your pain into greatness, until you allow your pain to push you from where you are to push you to where you need to be. Stop running from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your pride, a part of your pride. I, I challenge you to push yourself. See, it's easy to be on the bottom. It doesn't take any effort to be a loser. It doesn't take any motivation, any drive. In order to stay down there, the little mountain, what's wrong with everything in you? You have to harness your will to say, I'm going to challenge myself. I mean, if what you did, I hope we go out. Today, today, the only important day, there are 86,400 seconds in a day. And how you use those is critical. You got 86,400 in a day. And what you do today is going to see me who you are. Nobody's going to talk about what you did last week. That the biggest enemy you have to deal with is yourself. There's an old African proverb that says, if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. You have this opportunity of a lifetime. It means absolutely nothing if you don't take advantage of it in the lifetime of this opportunity. I got to say that when life knocks you down, try and laugh on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. If you want to think bad enough to go out and fight for it, work day and night, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep. If all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless about it. See, it's time now. If you want to make this your decade, you've got to start saying yes to your life. You've got to start saying yes to your dreams, yes to your unfolding future, yes to your potential. As a doctor said, no. When you die, you die on leave. Leave no dreams left behind. God, leave no opportunity left behind. When you leave this earth, accomplish every single thing you can accomplish. Listen to me, you're gonna be here one day, but you'll never get here if you give up, if you give in, if you quit, and finally God, you gotta wanna succeed as bad as you wanna breathe. So I guess uh, you gotta wanna succeed as bad as you wanna breathe. Um, I think that's the truth. Listen, guys, I, I can't make you do anything. <clears throat> I can't. You, you don't have to take this journal with me. That's, that's up to you. But I will, however, say that I really hope you come with me. Because I'm learning a lot about who I am as a human being. Even as an NCO since, uh, Jesus, 1998, um, I still have room to grow. I think if we stop growing, we become stagnant. We forget who we can be. We forget that we can accomplish more, that our dreams can come true, that we can have everything we want. We don't have to settle. That's the biggest thing. 
People think they have to settle. They don't have to settle. It's just hard to get there. It's hard. But you gotta reach down deep. And you gotta go for it. And nobody knows your worth but you. So anyway, I love you all. Uh, thanks so much for coming out, coming out tonight. I really appreciate you being here with me. Um, I hope to find more people on here as we go because I'd like to I'd like to see more people take this journey with me. But like I said, I can't force them. I can only tell them we're going there. All right, y'all have a good night, okay? Killer Kurt, out.